Hello YouTube, I'm Dawn and welcome to Double D Homestead. And today I wanted to talk about the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency Interruptions. <laughs> so I wrote my congressman yesterday an email. So I suggest everyone does and tell them you don't want the CBDC if you're against it. I don't know, maybe you like it, I don't know. And to me, it's an elimination of privacy and they can completely control you because they can just cut your money off. So I wanted to show you the letter I got back today because he did not address everything that I asked him about. So here's the letter. So here's the letter that I got back from my representative Comer. This is James Comer. He's a Kentucky state rep for up in DC for Congress. And he said, this is his reply. When contacting my office, you shared your thoughts on proposals to issue a government-backed digital currency. As you know, President Biden issued an executive order directing federal agencies to create a framework for regulating digital assets of cryptocurrency. On September 16th, 2022, the White House encouraged the Federal Reserve to research the benefits and risks of creating a U.S. CBDC. The Federal Reserve has since indicated more research is needed on the efficacy and accessibility of CBDCs and that the adoption of a, CD, a CBDC would need to be approved by Congress. And as chairman of the Oversight Committee, uh, and I, I, ta, pa, 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 the chairman of Committee on Oversight and Accountability, I will closely monitor the development of federal regulation on cryptocurrency networks and ensure that those tasked with issuing federal financial recommendations are acting in the best interest of consumer security. And the rest is, you know, political bull. <laughs> Just leave it there. But he did not address not ruling ruling cryptocurrencies out i mean he did not address that at all because i'm like do away with it we don't need it we don't want it it takes away all our privacy you will have no privacy they'll tell you what you can and cannot buy with your own money and it's just a bad thing it's just a complete control situation if you ask me and um he also i told him in the letter that i wrote him i asked him uh what about research and putting us back on the constitutional money of gold and silver? He didn't even address that at all. So, where are you at, James Comer, on this? <laughs> so, with that, that's all I have today, y'all. Y'all take care, and God bless y'all.